The last time we had a conversation with Victor Adi coming all the way from Nigeria uh, was a year ago, a year on, uh, he's back into the country and he's having an album listening or we've had an album listening and the victor is right here to talk entertainment hello to you welcome back to your second home yeah i prefer you say aquaba that's the <laughs> that's the big vibe for me but it's the same anyways <laughs> uh, yeah now on swear <laughs> yeah I said, oh, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I mean, I've seen, you know, uh, beautiful uh, EP out there. But uh, one thing that, you know, caught my attention is why, you know, do you have to come all the way back to Ghana? Okay, uh, Ghana is like my second one, like you said. Uh, and I think it's only proper for me to do something for my people here. You get it. it's not going to be just one side and enjoy and enjoy and enjoy, you understand? So I think it's only proper for me to do something with my people there. That's about the EP. Okay, so nothing to prove. Uh, nothing to prove the EP is like a reflection of my life, uh, a reflection of my person entirely. Because on a normal day, I really have nothing to prove. I'm not in a hurry to tell anybody anything or to make you feel this one or looking for human validations. You know, so I just keep it 100 with myself and I keep it real with myself and I let people connect to me organically. Wow. Um, I, I don't know which one is your favorite on this EP, uh, but I know that, you know, a lot of times musicians wouldn't want to pick but you should have, you know, a story behind that particular or one on the EP that, you know, you, you might want to share with, with, with the fans. Okay, uh, for me, whenever I drop a project, it's like a big vibe for me. So today I, it might just be this song and the next day, the next minute it might be this song and this week I might be vibing to this song. But for now, I think the song I'm actually vibing to more is Black, yeah. featuring Mr. Easy, yeah. Tell me about that vibe. What is the inspiration? Yeah, it's uh, basically it's actually promoting African culture and putting Africa on the map and letting everyone know that you 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 have to be black and proud. You have to be proud of your skin color. You have to be proud of whatever you are. And being Africa is is is, is an imbued thing. It's not about how you look. You don't have to. You understand? It's putting Africa on the map, basically. And black and proud black and proud i i think that should be my favorite as well <laughs> but how many songs uh, you know entirely is on, on on the ap and are we looking forward to an album because i mean when you release you know an ep then we're looking forward to an album yeah uh initially it was supposed to be an album before the before anything else but this one is like a starter so it's like the small shops for the events <laughs> and the album is still coming Renes over hype is the title what are your expectations you know i know that when you release waiting we gain it was it was all over i love i mean i i love that song and uh, what are your expectations for this album um here in ghana okay uh the thing is okay uh the thing is that i don't i don't really have uh uh an expectation per se i just want my people to feel all right i want my people to connect to the vibe i want my people to have it 100 percent and keep it real with themselves you get so there's no i'm not expecting anybody to go crazy or go low or go high or anything just connect with the vibe and make it real so i um, normally ask uh, this question whenever i meet you know creatives such like yourself that uh, when you're creating music a body of work like your beautiful ep that we're listening to um what is that one thing that you want to really really you know set out to put out to the people what do you want me to take home like uh, for example black uh, the black uh, uh, song you're telling me that it's all about Africa prom promoting or being an African and loving who an African is so so the entire EP what, what do you want me to take home 
Okay, uh, first of all, it connects with that. For me, it connects with the title of the EP, which is nothing to prove. And I want you to feel that way after listening to all the songs. That's how I want you to feel. The same way I felt when I was recording it, and like in my song, my I, most of the time I do conscious music, and whatever I'm saying is like 70 or 80 percent reality. Mm. So it's not I'm not just vibing because I want to vibe. I'm actually making sense in it, and my fans they really take me serious. So I, I spend time, I take time to fix things together because I don't want to mislead anybody. I want them to be on the same track with me. Would you leave us with any ideologies any advice uh, that you want to leave your fans and you know everybody watching yeah and to my fans i want to say don't be in a hurry to prove anything to anybody when the time is right it will be crystal clear so just stay true to yourself and stay true to your craft that's all ladies and gentlemen victor eddie <laughs> I don't sleep when they wake me up. Let me know you say I take no toll. Like you don't need fast or hard to do. Fast or hard to do. Then no one lets me go. Then no one feel I want to let me go. Only me need it for me no bother to do. Like you don't wish I can have plenty. Then you don't have to do. Because I'm fucking blind. I'm fucking blind. I'm fucking blind. I'm fucking blind. I'm gonna go like a small